Hi everyone, welcome to another edition of the AWS Blogger. I try to bring you some OBS Ninja cool tips and tricks. Recently, the console's been updated, so the director has a new or cleaner UI. So whether you like the old one or the new one, I just wanted to give you a quick tutorial on the new UI. Let's get started here. All right, so what I have here, now I'm already joined to the environment, but I wanna show you. This first one is a guest invite. You can take this link, provide it to anybody, and they can join here, and you'll join into a group chat, which is here. You'll see multiple users as you come into the environment. Pretty quick, simple, easy. Now here's the broadcast invite. You can actually take this one. I have not done this yet, so I don't even know some of the features on how it works out, but I know you can provide this and they can rebroadcast your actual feed as it says in the invite. Let's take a look at the scene link and the manual one. This is a manual environment. And when I say manual, it means you have to enable each user to it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna copy this link. I wanna go to OBS. In OBS, well, you see, I drop this in. Here's my link. Here's the environment. Notice that I am not showing up yet. I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna add to scene. I wanna show some of these buttons as well, but we're gonna talk about them individually. When I click add to scene, if I come back to OBS, there I am. You manually control who could be added to the scene. If I have another person, they're gonna be dropped in side by side, three, four, and you kind of get the gist of everything. I'll remove that person. Here's an automatically add to the environment, meaning to the scene, you don't have to manually go and add each person. So as I drop this link in here, now these are the scene views, not the individual views, the individual links I'll show you. Now you have that, and I'll automatically show up within the scene view, two people side by side, three, whatever it is. I don't even have to click the add scene button. Notice that's different than the individual one where you wanna place individual users around the environment. Here's a copy of my solo link. Notice, and please remember that this is a browser source and to enable the audio controls by OBS here. And now I click that and I'll be on my solo view. Let's talk about some of the other features for it. Here we have a record. I can click record. It's going to do it at a certain bit rate. And right afterwards, you're going to notice that the button changes to a download. Meaning right now, I'm recording the environment. I click download and there you go. I can download it and save it to wherever I need to. Obviously, I'm not going to do that. Hang up. Not going to press that button just yet because there it goes. I should be out of the environment. I can mute in the scenes, meaning that person will be there, but I can basically stop their audio from going across. Here's all the links. We've kind of went through some of these. The last part that I want to talk about that is actually the coolest feature that I find with the new UI is the transfer button. This transfer button means I can take this person and forward them to another room or another director can manage it. So say that I'm doing a conference. I've already actually talked about this where I'm going to transfer from one room to the other and I'm managing my users in this aspect. This is probably by far the coolest feature. That's pretty much it for the new UI. I hope you enjoy. Oh, you know what? Let's talk about the enable director's push to talk mode. If you enable this one, I am talking or allow it manually talking to the audience. And then I push to mute everybody or mute myself. And I still control that aspect. And I push to talk. You'll notice down here, my mic actually changes from pause to not. Uh, that's all I got. Let's go ahead and press that hang up button. Let's see how that one works out for the environment. Hang up. See ya. No user. <gasps> there they go. That's pretty awesome. Hope you enjoyed this. Stay tuned for the next one.